Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Get in Shape with David. I'm back with Henry. Uh, I think I'm going to start hiring him as my bodyguard when we go out. Uh, so someone left a comment on my YouTube page saying if I tried to rely on this, I would get my butt seriously kicked out on the street. And so I want to propose a challenge to anybody out there to practice what we're going to talk about today, put it into your self-defense system, and then tell me this doesn't work. Okay? I think you'll be pretty surprised on how effective this becomes. And when, you're, when your connective tissue is built correctly, the self-defense application then becomes your secondary thought and not your primary. Does that make sense? So instead of having to memorize a million self-defense techniques, I can use the principle of connective tissue and make everything else I do just that much more effective. And so I'm going to ask Henry to come out. He's already halfway out, right? And so here are the things to practice to get better at it and to pressure test this in a martial situation. First thing is my structure. I want to move my body as a unit. In Tai Chi, they say one part moves, all parts move. And I'm gonna ask Henry to give me a little bit of pressure if you would, and I'm going to move him just by walking forward. I am not pushing him out of my way. I am walking so that my mass replaces his mass in the step, in that one step. So he gives me pressure, I walk, I don't lean and push and all this other stuff to break my structure, but you can see it very easily moves your opponent out of the way by using that structure, okay? The second thing that I'd like you to practice to know that you're on the connective tissue correctly, if you watch, he don't help me on this, if you watch Henry's body, I push across his shoulders. You can see where that tension comes across as I push on that, okay? And now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get on this connective tissue, and now I did not change my hand position at all. And now when I push, notice I get a different break on Henry's body that came out through his lower back. And I'll do that again so you can see the difference. Shoulders and lower back, okay? Now I'm gonna change that angle one more time. I'm gonna feel my way down to, Harry, to, sorry, to Henry's feet. And now when I push, watch his body. I'm gonna do that one more time so you can get a better view of that. On his feet, and I'm gonna push, okay? And now his entire body needs to shift instead of being able to try to take that motion and that push, his body, his entire body now needs to move. So, moving on with this scenario and this theory, I'm gonna have Henry grab my wrist. Grab tight, good. And so, everybody, I think, has seen this technique one way or another, right? Now, there's a lot of doubters out there about Aikido and Tai Chi and these other arts that use internal principles. So, I'm gonna ask Henry to grab super tight and not let me move this arm, right? Tight, good. So, I can't really move that muscle on muscle. But I put it on this connective tissue. I don't need the muscle. Notice I have them here. And then when I point down on this connective tissue, I get a different response. Okay? Because I control his body at that point of contact through the connective tissue. Work on those exercises. Get good at them. And then put it into your other self-defense techniques. And then leave me a comment on whether or not you think it works. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.